Hey guys, today we'll be talking about steam boilers in Texit. Texit. The mix between Texit and Hexit mod. Okay, so the simple steam boiler is this. This is the simplest, cheapest, easiest way to build a steam boiler, in my opinion, in Texit. We've got just a pump with just one redstone engine here and just a pump set up here, cobblestone for easy pipes, just leave it on and off just takes water out of here, I am 6x6 six six, I think is good because well it's an infinite water source, just takes it over and puts it into the steam boiler. Now this is a solid field boiler firebox um, yep just the solid field ones, That all that means is that it takes coal or coke coal and you can also get a liquid one which is here and this is the recipe for that and the liquid one it just means that it takes uh, fuel maybe oil I'm not really sure I don't use it I don't think this is very good to use unless you have a refinery like completely set up and all that sort of stuff but in my opinion it's a lot easier just to use the solid fuel one which can be made easier as well just by doing this now what we do, what we do to set it up is we also have a low pressure boiler that tank, there is also a high pressure boiler tank there and there, low pressure, high pressure. The recipe for low pressure is iron plates which is easier to make than steel plates so low pressure is cheaper but I believe it is much be more beneficial to have high pressure. See so low pressure, we have 16,000 steam here, um, this has been running for a while so it's got full water the water um, is filled up with this pipe here so you run this pipe into the bottom of this here and bottom of the uh, solid field boiler firebox and it fills up the water and that's um, what's needed to you know make steam so it cooks the coal, cooks the water which makes the steam which fills up this and this gradually goes up from 0 to 500 as we will see when I build it in a bit and um, this can just be filled with coal from over here and this redstone engine will just use the wooden transport pipe, it needs to be a wooden transport pipe at least because wooden transport pipe is what's used to take things out of a box you can't put it directly onto cobblestone so wooden then connects to cobblestone because cobblestone moves things around and that will move the coal over to here and there it is, it fills that up and that will slowly fill up to 500 degrees it's 500 degrees because it is such a small setup, these can get up to 3x3 three three, but this is a 1x1, one one. I'll show you 3x3 three three in a bit and you can take the steam out of it when it reaches I think about 130 degrees and this is about half full then you can start taking steam out of it and that I've just set this up here, it doesn't matter what it is, this is just a rolling machine, I've just used a rolling machine because that you know, uses power, so I just use it to put there. Now this has steam, um, water comes in here and it fills up that, and steam should be filling up this. I don't know why it's not, um, give me a second. Right, so what we had wrong was this you actually have to uh, turn it on so yep maybe we should have done that to start with so you turn it on and the steam starts to go up and this also will slowly start to get hotter there we go now it's starting to make RF and that will power the rolling machine but it already has full power so yep the steam goes in there otherwise you'll be pairing this with coal which is not anywhere near as efficient and yeah, that starts to go up. I don't really know what this bar means. But this color of this is what is the color of this. So when that gets hotter, it gets hotter. But that's at 20 degrees still. That eventually heats up. I don't know how much that matters. But that steam goes up. And yeah, that's how this, is. That's how this works. Now, this is the simplest, easiest way to do it, in my opinion. But the best way is this. Which is a little bit more complex and I'll explain why this coal is sitting here in a bit. So to start with we have the same pump setup except we have four redstone engines around it just because it's more efficient. Uh, redstone engines are enough to power, four redstone engines are enough to completely power a pump 
and easily enough to power a pump to fill this. So this has a lot more water in it, that is 144,000, whereas this had 4,000. See this is a 1, one by 1, or I guess 1 by 1 by 2, and this one is a 3 by 3 by 5, which is the biggest you can go and the most, uh, like most um, steam making. Okay, so you use the pump and it still pumps it into the bottom. It has to be pumped into the bottom. It cannot be pumped into here. It has to be pumped into the bottom. And instead of having just the uh, chest over there that you took it out of, this is making it. And it's put making it with a uh, energy condenser. This is an MK3 because I'm just emulating the best scenario. MK3 is the highest one. And that just put coal in there with the energy condenser. And you've got coal. And now I'm using the emerald transport pipe because it's just better and then gold transport pipe is a lot faster. The cobblestone transport pipe over there is really, um, it's cheap but it's really slow. So you get the golden transport pipe and you connect that to the emerald transport pipe. The only thing with the emerald, emerald transport pipe is you can actually choose what comes out and you have to choose what comes out. So you have to, you click on whitelist and just put the coal in there and then that's what'll pull out. If you don't put the coal in there, it won't work. That was annoying to figure out. So you put connect the end hands with pipe to the energy condenser and that puts it into there. Also has to be on the bottom and it just fills that up and the same thing happens. Because this is a much, much bigger one, it takes a lot longer to heat up. The other one heats up, the one over there, the tiny one heats up in like a minute very quickly. This one's been on for at least half an hour and it's only on 213. It, has, it, it does have half steam, so it is outputting steam, as you can see there. Um, let me just connect this one up. Um, notice this one is transport pipe, same as the one from the chest over there. It's transport pipe, I forgot to say that. And this is fluid pipe, because it is water, and this is only just items. It has to be fluid for water, has to be transport for just normal items, as the name says. And animal transport pipe also has to be powered by a redstone engine. And then you connect that, and yeah, and the steam comes out of here, and it powers the turbine, and that is currently only just powering this MFSU, just proof of concept. And yeah, also this coal spewing out here is, I, I have no idea, I think it's a bug, I assume it's a bug, I doubt it's a feature. When this is full, and I'm still pumping things into there, it just, it just drops it out the back. Um, they will disappear eventually. I kind of just leave it, or I just build like a big structure around the outside of it. I'm not going to do that now, just because whatever you can do it yourself if you want. And that kind of just holds it in. Okay, so now let's just show quick tutorial how to build this one because if you can build this one, you can build this one. It's simple enough. It's all the same sort of thing. Okay, so first off, we start with. Let's just get a water source block so it's easier. Okay, so we start with the pump, which I like to have nine, uh, sorry, three by three instead of, some people say two by two. I don't know if it really makes much of a difference. I just think it looks better with three by three and it's easy enough, so might as well. And yeah, so it's easy enough to just use nine things of um, buckets of water. So then you get the redstone pump, redstone engines, just put them all around the edges to power it, and a lever, just to put them there to turn them on. And there we go, now they start pumping. Now we need the golden fluid pipe. You don't need an extraction pipe out of this. It will work just straight how it is. Yeah, put that there. There we go, actually I'll leave it there. And then we get the solid, um, oh yeah, actually, actually I can show you here. Now we'll just put this like this. Let's build it up around. You don't have to build it like I just did, just whatever. Um, see how it's still split apart, but if you put two layers, it'll connect again, but don't worry, just just keep just shift click and then keep adding more on. Four is the four layers high of the high pressure boiler tank is the 
uh, highest tier, most efficient, that sort of stuff. So, so I just do that. Okay, so you have got water starting to pump in. See, there's a lot more water in this one because it's a big one, as I said before, and it's turning to night. Much better. Okay, so now we make the uh, coal come in, and I have no coal. See it away. There we go. Now we need to get an energy condenser and just chuck that. It can be anywhere. It can be in the same input as this. You know what? Let's just make it the same input, just for the sake of nice looks and you know whatever. Let's just slowly fill up that as it's bigger. It takes up longer, obviously. Now we'll chuck that up there. Chuck that up there. There. And at the end, I will show you how this will actually start making um, power and all that sort of stuff. Um, no, I won't go through there. We'll put it here. Up there, I'm just surrounding this because that will get the highest um, amount of uh, coal being made. And yeah, we'll transport pipe again just because it's the easiest thing to use. Why are you doing that? Just because it's the easiest thing to use, you just need one piece of coal, just so we can tell it what we want it to pull out. And then we'll be chucking the redstone engine onto the side of that. Put a lever there, turn it on, just so it starts going. And then when you can use the golden transport pipe, because it's the fastest and the best in my opinion. It's not too much to me, it, it has EMC, you can just EMC it. So now we have coal going into there. Um, this burns coal very, very quickly. So <coughs> once this starts to get a bit faster, everything should be fine. That will eventually slowly start making heat. And once I get up to 100 degrees, the steam starts to go up then because, you know, 100 degrees, boiling point of water, makes sense, right? Okay, so, so now what we have to do is pretty much just wait for that to go to 100 degrees but we can do other things while we're doing that so you might be thinking okay okay so that's 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 going there that's fine but how do we make the thing make it actually start producing you know power now that depends if you want eu power which is ic2 industrial craft 2 power or if you want RF, which, I don't know, build, power, build craft power or something, build craft maybe. Um, <clears throat> but what you need to do regardless is build one of these. I just like building it one off the ground because it makes things easier. In a two by two by three by two, and that will make that. Before you see, before you make it, nothing on there. Put the last one in and it's, it just makes it finished. So then we click into that. And we can make this rotor turbine, not sorry, turbine rotor, which is made by turbine discs, which is made by turbine blades and a block of steel, which is all just steel ingots, all refined iron. <coughs> but it's just a ton of steel. It's a fairly high EMC, but if you've got EMC condensers, it's not that hard to make. So you just make one of those, and you put that in there, because that's what actually, you know, turns this, because it's a steel turbine housing. And now we need to use fluid pipes. Fluid pipes must always be used to transport the actual steam out of here because, I don't know, steam is not an item, I guess. Steam is a fluid. And you have to click the steam being taken out of these, not this. Steam cannot be taken out of this. It only can be taken out of these. So, yeah. Move that across, move that down. It doesn't matter if you put it anywhere you can put it on anywhere in here it doesn't matter and you can take it out anywhere in here it doesn't matter I just put it underneath because I don't know it's easy editing Thomas would like to just add in that the reason that I'm doing four of them and not just one is that one of them will get it to 25% efficiency and four of them will get it all the way up to 100% efficiency <coughs> there we go and we'll just chuck it on top Actually, no, we won't chuck it there. How yeah, we did it before. Perfect. Now that will, when we start making, see that's still only on 38 degrees. I'm going to have to.
put another card here. Um, it doesn't matter if these go red and yellow, that the redstone engines never blow up. That's just how they work. They will never blow up. And they, um, when they go red and uh, yellow, that just means they're at the peak performance. Don't worry about it. It's just pumping more water in until it's full, which it's now full. That will eventually just like stop working. Um, yep, so this is slowly doing this. That's pumping that into there, which is good. And yeah, that will eventually get to four, oh, sorry, 100 degrees and start making steam until it gets up to the halfway point. And then we will just go to the other one because it's already started. I didn't show you how to make the other things. Golden fluid pipe is just pipe sealant. And this, this is the recipe. Pipe sealant is just cactus green, which is just smelted. Smelted? Um, yeah, smelting cactus into cactus green. Easy enough. Well, you can make it other ways. You can look it up if you want. Um, the solid fuel box I've already shown you. Energy condenser, you probably already have that. You probably already have that. This is just emerald transport pipe is that um, emerald yeah pipe sealant is how you make fluid pipes just with transport pipes it's easy enough it's got an EMC value you make one and you can make a million and what else high pressure is I showed you steal that um, the pump the pump is made like that tanks are made just with reinforced glass or any glass I think yeah, just any glass and just a like a full circle pattern. Um, I think that's all that's important, really. Yeah. Okay. Um, now we'll just jump back over to this one because well, it's already working. So we've got this, you know, pretty much same design here. This has started to make steam when it gets to the halfway point. I think, I think that's about right. When it gets to the halfway point, it'll start pumping steam out. See how I've got this connected here, and it's going to pump steam out there. These are connected at the bottom, and it's all working perfectly. Um, I've just connected this to show that you can do steam turbine housing. This is going to be used to make EU, but you can also take steam out. Just go to a RF machine as well. Um, this is the commercial steam engine, which is the upgraded version of the hobbyist steam engine. It is the best of the three. Turn that on, and that'll fill up on steam. And that'll start going up, and this is how much it is outputting. And that'll just go into the rolling machine, see it's on 20 now, and that'll, you know, just start working. It's obviously going to start slow, that's how engines work. But we'll turn that off for now because it makes noise. So this is, imagine we've got our, uh, you know, this is up to 270 degrees now. Go away. And, you know, steam's pretty high, it's pretty good, and this is just pumping into there. Um, that will start to have, start to count down, and the EMC value will go down. But that's okay. Now, we get our glass fiber cable, or literally any cable, it doesn't matter. Anything will work. I just use glass because it is the best, and, I don't know, I'm trying to make the best sort of setup you could do. So, just click that out of there, across, and there, straight into anything. It can be straight into... A machine like uh, not the rolling machine I don't think um, what's a machine hold up okay so we're back now and I've just given myself a couple things um, so yeah I'm just gonna show that it can be hooked up to whatever you want um, that doesn't matter that's coming from the same thing so it could be hooked up to just a macerator that will work see it's being powered straight from that that output is at 100% now because it's actually doing something and see, you can see this is going up very, very quickly, a lot faster than solar panels in this game because there's no solar arrays, there are only solar panels. Thank Tex thanks, Texit. Anyway, um, so this is just a normal EU machine, but you can also use Galacticraft equipment stuff because, you know, Texit, Galacticraft is kind of a big part of it. So just showing that you can also, okay, you need to be connected to this side. I don't want to pick up the call. Um, see, so now connected, and there, energy is full. Uh, let's see if I can see that filling up. There we go. See, that's Galacticraft, the GL beside the green thing. So it's making EU, but it's also making GL. This GL is um, equivalent to EU, or it's you know same sort of thing. It, GL works. You pump EU in as GL, and that works fine. 
So yep, that's all well and good. And yeah, that's at 100%. Why is it always night time? That is 100% output there. That is pulling the steam out of there. The same thing can be done here. Although you cannot use, with a simple one that tiny, you cannot use the steam turbine. It just does not work as well. So yeah, that is my uh, tutorial on how to use the high pressure, sorry, the steam boiler. There we go, steam boiler. See, that's still not, still only on 76%. It's making no steam yet. It's a very slow process. But once it gets going, it as long as you have water coming in always, coal coming in always, it will never stop. So it's always continuous output, which is great, unlike solar panels. That's why you can run machines directly off it very efficiently. So thank you for watching my tutorial on how to use steam boilers. If you have any questions, put them in the comments, or if you have any suggestions on what I should make a tutorial on in Texit or anything like that, Next, then just tell me. This should also be used. This can also be used in Feed the Beast. Um, similar sort of things. Pipes are different, but you know, everything's similar enough. And also maybe Galacticraft. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, probably not. Um, maybe Hexit. I mean. Um, but yeah, definitely in Texit and maybe Feed the Beast. Okay. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.